Um, what, what we learned so far in a couple of sentences um, is that the um, Rivka understood that she had to put the big day ace of on Yaakov in order for him to get the brothers, our parsha. And the Torah calls it big day chamudais. The big day chamudais, um, they were poshkav shot in big day chamudais, is that they were the godim that the Loisach Maid was performed on them. The Hainu that um, Esau saw these begodim on Nimrod, and Nimrod took them for, and, and he killed them in order to get the begodim Loisach Maid, Amish Daraisa. And the Nimrod had gotten these begodim from Cain, who had gotten them from Esau, and these begodim were none other than the Kosnais or that Hashem made for Adam. Which one of Noah's children got them? I don't know. I don't know. Probably shame. <laughs> if I had to guess. Um, these begotten were special, Tzadik explains, because the begotten were a earbuv of toy Ra. They weren't begotten toy, they weren't begotten Ra. They were Ra in the sense that they came because of the Chet. If not for the Chet of other Mauritian, there would have never been any begotten. Um, but they were taught in the sense that they showed the comfort of HaKadosh Baruch Hu to Adam Acher Achet. They showed the power of Shuvah. They showed the Yiskarvus. In fact, Sir Sadiq explains that not only were they taught, they were taught of Ma'oy. In the gather of Machim Shabali Chuvayim Dim Sadiqim Gimurim and Yechayim Lamit Shem. The key thing here is that they were um, an earvuv of Tov Vera. And it was, um, this is a new, a new concept that we keep on learning that the or that comes after Chayshech is a stronger or than the or that would come just Stam. The or Stam is the or that HaKadosh Baruch Hu created at the beginning of creation. Then came the Sheshe Simei Hamais, and then came the Chet, and then came the Godim, and then comes the or Haganos of Shabbos. <coughs> so Shabbos, the or of Shabbos, as Reb Tzadik, is an or which is more powerful than the or had there not have been a Sheshe Simei I mean, we can, uh, th just as a, as a muscle, we can feel it bechush, that sometimes if a person is in a dark place, when you come to light, um, it, it's very, very bright. It even hurts our eyes. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's so bright. It's the same light that everybody's walking around in, but it's bright. It's relatively bright. And uh, that's, that's the derech that we were um, talking. Uh, the um, subject here talks about Rus. Big day Shabbos, the Gemara learns from Rus, because Naomi said to Rus, go approach Boaz and put on Simlei Sayich. The Gemara says, hey, look, big day Shabbos. It wasn't Shabbos. She didn't see him on Shabbos. But those were big day Shabbos. Simlei Sayich means your clothes which are miyuchedas, your clothes which are very special. <coughs> um, so what was the Nakuda of, of Rus wearing the special begotten that we learn from there that we should also wear special begotten. They weren't big day Shabbos be'etzim. They were like big day Shabbos begotten ham So what's what's the, do you remember what was the, what was so special? Why did she have to wear special begotten? Because she was also an orach or She was also an orach or meaning that she's coming to Boaz and she's saying. I'm also I'm also an or achar achoshech, and therefore we're going to learn um, I'm mashiachdik, I'm geuladik. So you have to remember that uh, we have to remember this you cite over and over again that that the six days of the week also represent the six thousand years of Golos. Ki elaf shanem beinacho ki yom esmo ki yavo. So one day of Hashem is one thousand years. Yom Ashvi. Yom HaShabbos is Zman HaGulo. Yom Shekul HaShabbos is Menucha L'Chaye O'Elam. So it's, it's very, very clear. Agav, it's, it's interesting. I saw the Alshech. The Alshech says that on Monday, it doesn't say um, Kitov. Why? Yom HaShabbos. Why does it say Kitov? Because look at that, look at that Elif. Look at that Elif. That was the Elif of the Mabel. It was the elef of the not hatzlacha of civilization to, to mm -hmm. come to where it was supposed to be. But on the, th on the third elef, it says, Kitoiv twice, right? <laughs> Why? 
because that was the Aleph of Avram Avinu to Kriyas Yamsuf, and the Aleph says beautifully that the Kriyas Yamsuf is Mechaper and the Mabel. Hmm. Hmm. Like, these, were, these are like bookends. Choshech or it's just Mitzrayim, Kriyas Yamsuf. So the Kitoi, Kitoi, it was a double, the same thing as the Aragonus. Not Mountain Tire. Not Mountain Tire, Kriyas Yamsuf was Mechaper. <coughs> Because of Kriyas Yamsuf, because of Kapar, we're able to have Mount Tur. <laughs> we're able to become Nevi'im. That was a uh, that was a Taitsa, that wasn't the uh, that wasn't the Maisa. Okay, so Rus um, comes and she's wearing her special begotten. What is the special begotten? It's a Zman of um, from from me come Mashiach. Boaz came from Yehuda and Tamar. Boaz ben Peretz also came from a Makam of Choshech, and now he's our. And Rus came from a Makam of Choshech. She, she was an Almana also. Was she wearing a special uh, morning clothes? Before, before she was before, before, yeah. before. And so was he. He, uh, he was also an Almana. Uh, yeah. um, so Rav Tzadik says, Vows, Ki he, a little bit earlier, Alkein Oisam Begadim, those Begadim that, uh, that Rus was wearing, Roim Sibloi Saich Shemiuchadim Loi Ubiyichud, Namar Zeb of Ferish because of Gavi Rus, Shinikra Ima Shomalchus. We need to know that Rus was called the Ima Shomalchus. She was the mother of Malchus. Majamru Khazal, Baba Basri Tzadik Aleph, Al Pasik, Aim Hamelech. Aim Hamelech refers to Rus, Gavi Shlema Hamelech. Malchus, no, Malchus didn't exist in the Jewish concept. No Malchus. There was no Malchus. So there was no Malchus in the, in the um, I mean, there was Malchus because there was from Avinu Flat Malachim. There, there was Malchus, but there was no Malchus in the in the um, Ruchnius sticker sense because Malchus is the finished product of the Spheros, right? That's a word of Tiferes, and that's a Chodesite Malchus. So Malchus is when Kodesh Baruch Hu touches ground. So it's not, you don't have to be a Mokubal to understand. Malchus, uh, Kya Malchus Shochahi. Malchus means that Ein Melech Beloyam. Malchus means that the world is working the way HaKadosh Baruch Hu intended it to work. That's how a Malchus works. The, the government is working. <laughs> it, it's permeating every home. It's permeating every human being. That's, that's, that's what Malchus is, a Melech B'loy Am. So um, Malchus has to come along on the Yom HaShavi, on the Shabbos. Shabbos Malchus. And Yosef was only Yisod? There was no Malchus? Yisod. <laughs> okay. No Malchus. He was the beginning of Malchus. Brought it down to earth. Except that we went to Golos. Yeah, it's just okay. You need to understand and Golos. And Yehuda. What about Yehuda? <coughs> Abba Shem And Moshe. And Moshe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we 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 got to get through all of the Malchus to continue. Malchitzedek. Malchitzedek. So you're saying, but the Indian wasn't really showing. The Malchus based David. Yeah. The Malchus based David, which is the ultimate Mashiach, the base of Mikdash, David Amela, Shlomo Amela. They weren't all good, by the way. <laughs> Interesting, in the, in the Malchus based David Gufa, there was, there was Or, there was Choshech. But the Malchus based David, there was a bris with David Amela that it's, the, the Malchus is going to stay in your family. And this all came from uh, Matthias. This, this all came historically, chronologically, uh, genetically. It all came from Rus and from Boaz. Both of them came from a Makam of Choshech to a Makam of bringing out the R. So what was really going on, the deep thing that was going on, which required big day Shabbos when, on, on, the, on, the, uh, on, the, on the get-together of Rus and Boaz, what required big day Shabbos was the beginning of the Gula. It was the beginning of the Gula because, and where did the Gula come from? Came from? Both came from a very dark place, not only in their own lives, came from a very dark place, but they both both came from dark where, where did, where did we, said, we talked about it. Where did Boaz come from? It came from Peretz. It was, came from Yehuda and Tamar. Where did, where did uh, Rus come from? <coughs> Rus came from, from uh, Moab. Ammon and Moab, from Moab. Naomi came from Ammon. <laughs> this is Ammon and Moab from the Benos Lod, from Sodom. <laughs> from Sodom. David Amalek came from Sodom. And Yehuda and Tamar. Abisham <laughs> Alchus. David Amel came from stone. What, that's a heck of a Cooper Shrutz. Good luck finding a shit. This is the, the side of, of Abraham Avinu. Isn't there a tzaddik? Isn't there a tzaddik in stone? Where's the tzaddik in stone? Isn't there any 
I mean, I'm sure Avraham Avinu saw what we saw, the Davra Melech <laughs> came from stone. Where is the, where, there must be some tzaddikim in stone. Where did it come from? Complete chosha. Complete chosha? It will be complete chosha? Did it come from Lot? Oh. <laughs> came from Lot. Why was Avraham Avinu running to save Lot so much? Over and over and over again, throughout all these parties, right? the Lot, Lot, who's Lot? Okay, it's relative, but I think ah, I mean, it's running and say that the is Lot was the was the was the Abba Shel Mashiach. Isn't it true? If, not, if I don't save Lot, think about it. If you don't save Lot, you don't have a base on But does but does Abraham prophetically know this, or is he trying to protect his nephew? How do I know? <laughs> I just, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just he knew <laughs> that, that I have to say, look, the whole wars of the of the of the, of the Arab and Malach, the whole wars that he was going through. So all about saving Lot, to save Lot. But what was it was <laughs> like, like in such a serious damage for Lot. So it's like an unbelievable thing. He didn't have such a serious damage for his son Yishmael as he had for 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 Lot. Sure. Well, Heretus Lot came out Rus. From 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 stone came Lot, and from Lot came 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 uh, came came Rus, and from Rus came Rus came to Boaz, and from there comes Mashiach. So what do we see? Vayera, Vayiboker. Vayera, Vayiboker. Was that yeah, it was yeah, a Malach, just for Lot. Hmm. Yeah, a Malach just to say. Just for Lot. Just for Lot. Very good. So um, Tzadik says. He always says Sherish Lamidus Mouth. So she was the Sherish. Valkan Yatsami Mena Malthus based David. Malthus based David came from Rus, Shinimsa Mitzad, because Malthus based David has to come from the Sad Mitzad Hairvu of the Taivira. We're back to the Begadim of Asav, which were the Begadim of Nimrod, which were the Begadim of Adam Arishai. That there was an irvuv of tovera, that's the way it goes. An irvuv of tovera, that's what's going to be the begadim, the symbolic begadim that 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 put on those begadim. Now he said, put on those begadim of Adam Arisha. Kilo is arbechoshech and tovera the same thing? Yes, I'm just going to explain that. But it, the point is, what we need to do is here's where we need to focus. Irvuv, as we've been focusing, irvuv of tovera, irvuv of tovera. Bestoim bebasloi tabachira k'moshi isa bebreishes rabba. Let's look at the Madrash and Breishes rabba. Madrash and Breishes rabba. Parsha nun. At the end. Talks about the story of Stom, the... Um, Beshvei b'nai secha hanim soyes itach is up to a light. You and your two daughters that are with you. Amar Rav Toivia b'as Rav Yitzchak. Shtei mitzios in the house of Lot. In the house of Lot, there in Sodom, there were two mitzios. <laughs> you know, you know, in the in, in, in the old um, Yiddish jargon, <coughs> when somebody uh, brings home a kala, which is <laughs> You know, it's called a matzia. <laughs> like, if it's see this is a matzia. Like, this is this is what you found. Mm -hmm. It's all the couldn't find somebody rich. Stay <laughs> <laughs> matzias. There was two matzias in the bias shell light. Who were those two matzias? Rusa moyavia mina moha minus. Amoyna moya enemies. Amoyna moya darkness that came from a mice of darkness of Lot's daughters cohabiting with their father. Yatsumen Amoyna Moya was such a such a a strange story. Uh, from there come these two Matthias. Where were they in the bias? Not not there when they ran away from Stein. In Stein, Siglicht, and those two daughters, Amoin and Moya, Shtei Matthias, Rus Amoya, Via Venama, Amanis, which are going to save the whole place. They're going to save the whole place. It came from Stein. Oh my Reb Yitzchak, says the Medrash. Oh my Reb Yitzchak. Let's talk. Let's quote on this the uh, the pasuk in Tehillim, Peites, Matsasi David Avdi. Matsasi David Avdi. Perak uh, Peites is I'm not saying la Eson Haazrachi. It's Avramovino. Who's Avramovino? Here's Shmuel. 
was already speaking about <laughs> Abraham Avinu was already speaking about Matsasi David Avdi. This is Dilla written by David Amel. Matsasi David Avdi. Heichan Matsasi. I found Hashem said, I found my Eved David. Where did I find him? Matsasi. See, Matsya. This this whole Maisi here is talking about Matsya. So Matsya is not some, is, is when you find something in a place where you don't expect to find something. There's no such thing as going to a certain Makam, go over there, you find a lot of Matsyas. I mean, there is in the shopping world, but not in the... Um, a Matsya is the shot, you're walking on the street, and, and you find something, so it means that it, do, it doesn't belong there. It's Shalai Bim Kaibai. That's what it means to find something, right? If I'm, if I'm walking down, if I'm walking down the, the, the Shuk Machin Yudin, I find a hundred shekels. It's a Matsya. If I find something which is out of its makam, if it's in its makam, it has a simon, and you give it back to the person, not a metziah. A metziah is the pshat, that's why, like, a metziah is not, it comes without any hishtadlus. That's the taich of a metziah. A taich of a metziah is it comes without any hishtadlus, which is, by the way, Agav, while we're here, it's a pella on the Gemara. You got to your matzasa, you got to your matzasa type. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're yogeya, you'll find. They, they, they say, B'Shem or Baruch Bar. That's how the Gato Matsasa time in the Pshat is if you'll do a Yagiyam Mitsyam. It's a completely different place. It's not the Pshat that is a result of your direct result of your Yagiyam. You'll have a Mitsyam. That's not the way it works. Yagata, you have to do your Yagiyam Tyra. Well, Matsasa, then you'll find a Mitsyam. How many times does it happen? Like, you know, you, you, you come to a Shvera, a Kemara, or a Shvera, a Pusik, or a Shvera, something, and you're, and you're working, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking, and all of a sudden, got it. It had nothing to do with what you were thinking about. Isn't that true? <laughs> it comes from a completely place of Godric. Completely different place because it's a Matsya. Ultimately, it's a Matsya. Yagata Ubatsasa. A Matsya means you find something Shaloi bim kaimai. Shaloi bim kaimai. In the bias Shaloi in Sadaim. Shaloi bim kaimai. Shtei Matsya. Comes your Yitzhak. Why are you stopping with the Shtei Matsya of Rus and, 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 and uh, Naomi? Why are you stopping with Amun Amav? Umatsasi, as, as David Avdi the Pasuk says. This is what Matsasi, David Amelech was there in that house in Sodom. Trengalit. Matsasi, I say, Bistaim, before it's in the Madrash. I, I want to I just uh, take a minute, go. go um, that's what the Madrash says, Arab Tzadik brings. It's, it's really, um, I'm here, Machab, into something even deeper. Because if you look at this Medrash, if you look at it sort of yeshivish, so you go to, <laughs> to where the part to the corner, you look at it more differently, you go right to the beginning of, the, of this little uh, Parsha. This is in Parak Nun, Parsha Nun, Parak Yud. And here, um, the Shachar was Eulah. This had to do with the Maisa of the Malachim and Night. Light had to do with Eulah's Shachar. Amr of Chenina Meshiyala Amud HaShachar Ad Shiyar HaMizrach Amud HaShachar HaShachar Eulah. HaShachar Eulah is what? Eulah's HaShachar. What's Eulah's HaShachar? What's Amud HaShachar? I know like a buck in these kind of things. A lot of different names. We have a loisa shachar, a muda shachar, netzachamo. What's a loisa shachar? What's a muda shachar? Okay, fine. <laughs> so, so it says the Medrash as follows: two different things. Mishiyala muda shachar atshi yoyer a mizrach adam mahalich arba milim. It takes four milim, about an hour. It's about an hour between. Alos Amud Hashachar and Yair Hamizrach. Is Yair what's Yair Hamizrach? Ah, Nate. Nate. Mishahayir Hamizrach at Shetan Etzachama Arba Milim. Got another hour to go now, a little more than an hour to get from. So you have three zman. You have a zman of Yala Amud Hashachar Ad Shiyair Hamizrach Ad Netzachama. <coughs> With 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 Arba Milam in between. Uksiva Shemesh Yatzal Art. Mistom Lutsoar Arba Milam. Okay. 
Amar Rabbi Yosi Bar Avin. So the Medrash takes the opportunity to say that Amar Rabbi Yosi Bar Avin. Im Yoy Mer Luchal Adam Hanu Koychvasa the Tzafra Ayalta the Shachra. If somebody is going to come and say, which apparently, which people say until today, that the that the morning star, whatever that is, the Koychvasa the Tzafra is the same thing as Ayalta the Shachra, is the same thing as Alosa Shachra Shachrenu. <laughs> Not that he's a bad scientist or he doesn't read his luach. It's you know. <laughs> He's like, wow. <laughs> Why? Because pamim poicheses u pamim shimoisefes. Sometimes it's before, sometimes it's after. Elokimin tartin karnan. If you want to understand the ayalta de shachra, which is, I'll show you, means alois hashachar. There's a mud hashachar, alois hashachar, and netzachama. Very significant. Three different things in tefillah. Three different stages of the morning. Amur HaShachar is very early. You know, sometimes if you're up very late, early, whatever however you want to look at, <laughs> you could, you could, and, and you look, Abishahayir uh, Abishrach, you could see Babish in the pitch black. You could see all the way over on the east side of the sky. You could see a stick of light. Okay, Amur HaShachar. Then comes Alois HaShachar. First comes Alois HaShachar. So what's this Ayelas HaShachar? I'm not saying how Ayelas HaShachar. Not Esther. Not Esther also. Also. Can mean tartan? What's an Ayelas? What's an Ayelat? Uh, some kind of gazelle, right? Yeah. So what's it? So, so can mean tartan karnin the Nahira Sulkimim the Nechasam and Aaron La'alpa. And it's like two horns, like horns coming up. Right. So you, you see two rays of light. Coming, so that's the Ayela Sashachar. Let, let me just, just to, to be, it's important for us to be marathon a little bit. The Yerushalmi says as follows. Yerushalmi, the first, the first uh, parak in Brachas, the first halach in Brachas of the Yerushalmi. It says uh, a story here. Um, Shachar, the Yerushalmi is very similar to our Medrash. Talks about the Dal and Milan that exists between each one. Um, but then it says like this: Rebchia Rabba, one of the Rebchias, Rebchia Rabba, Reb Shimon ben Chalafta, have a Mahalchen. They were taking a walk. And they were walking in the Bikas Arbel, that's the up, up north in the Galil. There's a mountain called, two big mountains that David Amel speaks about, which is Arbel and Hermon. So Arbel is a, a big mountain. And they were walking in the Bikas Arbel, Bikritsasa, Verau Ayelas Hashachar Shibaka Oira. So they're walking in the middle of the night, presumably <coughs> talking and learning, in the Bikas Arbel. And they saw Ayala Sashachar Shabaka Oira. They saw Ayala Sashachar, this guy. Over Rabchia Rabbal and Rabbi Shimon ben Chalafta, Bey Rebbe. He said, Bey Rebbe. Kachi Gulasad Shal Yisrael. What we are witnessing now is a metaphor to the Gulasad Shal Yisrael, to the Gul. Bitchila Kima Kima. It's a very gradual process. The Gula, he says, look at that light, the way it's coming out. Four million, another four million. It's a long time. Till, till you get it, till you get some real daylight over here, um, it's and that's the way the ghoul is. Kima kima, komashi hoyleches he rabbe vahoyleches. It starts off dark, and it goes lighter, lighter, lighter. My timeo, he says, this is indicated in the pasuk. He eshev b'choisha Hashem orly because or is best pronounced during choisha. Kach betchila, you see this by Esther. As you said, Esther is called Ayelas Hashachar. Umorach Ayoshei B'Shara Melech. Choshech. It's time of Choshech. Acher kach v'yikach haman is halavush v'as asus. V'yachir kach v'yeshev Mordechai el Shara Melech. V'archir kach Mordechai yotzim l'vnei melech b'lavush malchus. V'achir kach la'yehudim hoysa oira v'simcha v'sasa 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 v's
went from Choshech to Bisloch, went to the time of Or, but it was a Choshev very much that came two things. Came, it was an Or rather that came after. It was an Or that came after the Choshev, something. And first of all, and second of all, it was a little. It was a. It was a gradual, a gradual process. With the Hmm. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to tell you a little, a little clearer here that, that um, it's the same thing in the morning and it's the same thing at night. It's called Ben Ashmashas. We talk more about the Ben Ashmashas of the night because that's where we, that's where we see it. But uh, Ben Ashmashas means that it's the transformation from night to darkness, darkness to night. The one that's the Geula, Anyan is obviously, is not the, uh, the, the, let's call it Ben Ashmashas of the Lila, but the Ben Ashmashas of the Bokir. So it's coming from Choshef to Or, Kachin and the Dimyan, the, the Gemara says here in Yerushalmi, it's a, it's a Dimyan to the Geula. The Geula is Kima Kima. So this is where we learned that it's Kima Kima. Ben Ashmashas itself, what is it? What is Ben Ashmashas itself? There's a Machlaikis in the Gemara. Whether Ben Ashmashas is a Zman, <coughs> like there's a time of Ben Ashmashas, Nishtah in Nishtah time. The Maral explains, or is it Kaharafayin? Like that. The, the, the Maral explains, the famous Maral, that the Pshat in Ben Ashmashas is that it's an Irvuv of Yom Vachoshech. It's an Irvuv of Or Vachoshech. It's, it's an Irvuv. Meaning it's not the Pshat that it's. It's not the shot that there's it's daylight. Before that, it's it's night, and in between there's this benash mushes, the twilight zone. And the suffolk. Oh, the suffolk is as the morale. How do you treat that zman? It's a new zman. It's a it's a it's a new thing. Says the morale. It's a it's a new thing. It's not, it's not yom. It's not lilo. Right? Open up your mind. You have something new. The twilight zone is a mixture. Of Yom Zulayla, it'll sound like Reb Tzadik an Irvuv of of Tovira, an Irvuv of Tovira. <coughs> the the Maral explains this in a, in a number of places. The Maral says this, but uh, one of the places that the Maral speaks about this is on the on the Asar Dvarim Shnivru Bein Hash Arab Shabbos Bein Hash Moshes. We learned about this morning Keshes. Eloi shall what, What's the um, what is this? What's the significance of Bain Arab Shabbos Bain Hashmoshes? Means Friday afternoon, like after the siren. <laughs> Arab Shabbos Bain Hashmoshes. The new So it says Maral, um, because the Sheishis you may have is called, and Shabbos is Shabbos, Kodesh. So you have Chol on the one hand, and you have Kodesh on the other hand. Ben Ashmoshes is a mixture of Chol, Kodesh, and Chol. That's what Ben Ashmoshes is. I need even Halach. Certain things. It's not just it's a suffix. It's a suffix how to treat it, but it, 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 it's onto itself. It's a thing. It's a, thing. <laughs> it's a, it's a mixture of Yom V'choshev. So everything in this world that had to be created, like the Eloi Shal Yitzhak, which was Chatsi Min HaKodesh and Chatsi Min HaChol, had to be created Arab Shabbos Min HaShemosh. So it's the Marah. Like the, 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 that was a time of Bria, which was not a Bria of Chol, Sheshes, Yom, and Tas, and Lach, Tava. And it wasn't Shabbos, where Vayonach, Vayoyim HaShavi, it's a Nuzach. There are certain things in this world that are Chatsi Min HaChol, Chatsi Min HaKodesh. If, if you... So the, there's a, this, this man of Ben Ashmoshes is the, this man that we're talking about here, which is Kima Kima, that little by little this, this, this man turns into R, but this man, according to Maral, is unto itself uh, an Indian. And it's, it's an Indian where the Dvarm Shiba Kedusha, especially every Ben Ashmoshes, but there, Shabbos Ben Ashmoshes, is Mamish the time of the Gula. Because we know that 6,000 years is the Golas, and 1,000, the last 7,000 years going. Is the is the gula? Yalov shanim be'nachok yoy mesmo ki yafor. 
by the way, the, the, the Ramban, Yoim Echa, the, the Ramban at the beginning of the Chumash talks about this um, thousand, thousand, thousand. He explains what's happening in every thousand, every millennium. He explains what, how the millennium has to do with the days of the Greek. Beautiful, uh, a beautiful Ramban there. He goes through the first thousand, the second thousand, third thousand. Beautiful Ramban, very beginning, almost the beginning of the of the of the Torah, where he says, "Kiel Hashem and Bein Echa, Kiel Mes Mokiavor." So we're, when, when we're here, we're, we're, where we are like around now in history, 5,773. Right? So yeah, that's, that's a concise. That's a, <laughs> it's Beit HaShvosh's story that are about it. We're getting, we're getting, it's, a, it's already a Beit HaShvosh's, it's a Nuzach. It's a Nuzach, which is Chelech min HaKol and Chelech min HaKodesh. I want to bring out like, a, a very interesting thing. So we have an Irvuv. And the Irvuv, sort of make a simple point that the Maral doesn't say. We have an Irvuv which is a combination of Chol and Kodesh, wait, waiting for the light. We're waiting for the Kodesh of, of Mashiach. We're waiting for the... When there'll be a tikkun of the Chet of, of the Marishan, nobody's going to run into shelters any longer because um, bombs are falling on their head and sirens. It's uh, finished. And, and Adarab, the, the, the world is going to understand Klai Yisrael instead of criticizing Kla Yisrael and they're going to support them. That's the promise of the Gula. Right now we're in Ben Ashmash. Now, it, it, just, just think about this logically for a second. In the, in the, in the Tahalich of Ben Ashmash, going, meaning in the, in the movement going from Chol to Kodesh, from the six days to the seventh day, we have this time in between. Which part of it represents the Chol and which part of it represents the Kodesh? Which part is the Chol? The light. It's daytime, Friday afternoon. Which part of it is the Kodesh? The night. <laughs> if we're going from night, Shabbos started in the morning and here comes the light. Here comes the light, right? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. No. What are we sitting here? Here comes the darkness. It's coming. It's getting darker. It's getting darker. Ah, oh, Baruch Hashem, it's dark in Shabbos. It's a Yeholios. It's a Dover Nifla. No? A Tamho. You'd think the day would start in the morning where there would be light, but it's starting at night. By here, by God. Comes the Zayar, answers this Kasha. Even though it doesn't answer Kasha, it answers Kasha. So listen. If you want to understand the Gula, understand that in order to have David Amelech, you have to have Sadoim. In order to have Rus, you have to have in order to have Rus, you have to have light. In order to have Boaz, you have to have Yudan Tamar. You have to have the Choshech. The Choshech is the most exciting part of the whole Gula. Batsasi David Avdi, Hecha Batsasi, the Stoim. That's the Medrash. I found David. I found the Mashiach. Where do you find him? In the place that's most un unlikely, the least likely place in the, on the entire earth throughout all of history. <laughs> you can't find a darker place than stone. Nothing. Nothing's darker. Not Africa, not. Uh, uh, stone's the darkest place. That's the dark spot of the Torah. Batsasi is David Avdi. Dark place, dark mice, dark people. And out comes what's also David. Shtay Metsiya, and that's the taich of a uh, of a Metsiya. So the Chelech, uh, so, so the Chelech HaChoshech, so not only are we talking about an Irbuv of Toy Vera, but, and not only as you ask, so does the R always represent Toy, but the Chelech represent Vera? The answer is no. You can that the R represents the Sheshis Yemei HaMaisa, the time of Golos, the first 6,000 years, and then finally we're getting into Choshech. V'lai L'or Ba'adeh. And the Choshech could turn into R. Why? Because, so the Yerbub is unbelievable because that's, Reb Tzadik is explaining, because that's Tov Ma'od. V'machim Shabali Tshuvahim Demein Sadikim Demar Michalavad. See, let, me, let me tell you something. The, the uh, Balatanya in Parakhavav. 
Everybody knows why I'm always quoting the Valtani paragraph about nothing. <laughs> Oh, Tanya. <laughs> that was the last one. That, that was, oh, oh, I have one television. <laughs> <laughs> Knows my stories. But uh, to, to tell the story, I went into, um, around my time my bar mitzvah, I went into uh, Yechidus with the uh, Lubav Cherevi, all of a show, and he said to me, do you, do you learn Tanya? So I said, yeah, I learned Tanya. So he said, do you learn Tanya about Peh? This is the exact conversation. So I said, yes, I learned Tanya about that. So he said, and how much did you learn about that? First he asked me if I speak Yiddish, or does he need <laughs> to speak to me in English? <laughs> so he asked me, do I need to speak to you in English? So I said, oh, we could speak in Yiddish. How, did you learn Tanya about that? How much? I said, the whole thing. I know the whole thing about that. Okay. <laughs> the heat is going up right in this room here. <laughs> me and the Lava Terebi have a claim. <laughs> a claim. And he says, okay, start from the beginning and say. <laughs> I said, sorry. Okay, I was young, you know. Tanya was saying, very good, but either way, she'd be nice to take Tanya, but I won't bother. <laughs> so I started to say, uh, Tanya, about that. And I got to about the uh, 15th uh, chapter of Tanya, the short book. <laughs> the 15th chapter of Tanya, the Rebbe's listening very patiently. Uh, he also knows about that, I think, because he wasn't <laughs> looking inside <laughs> correctly. Um, and the door is opening and closing and opening and closing, which is the, uh, the yeah, secretariat the of, of the Rebbe saying, I'm in there way too long, <laughs> way too long, you know, you know. Felt like I was in an oven cooking, you know. Must <laughs> be, take it out already. Like, how, much, how much heat do you need? Okay, but the Rebbe says to say, I'm saying. So I, I uh, say, I'm saying, I'm saying, opening and closing, opening and closing. And, um, and I said, Parach Havav, the 26th Prakim, Kishem Havaya. And um, the rabbi said to me, stop, and he opened his drawer, and he, and he took a silver dollar, it was good old days, a silver dollar out of his thing, and he gave it to me. I have the silver dollar. He gave it to me. Um, okay, so a nest, the nest happened like this, that Ad Hayom Azah, I know the first 26 program of Tanya Balpen, I can't remember. <laughs> I, I once told her of Scheidberg, that's all the story. So he said to me, uh, you see, you needed one more Chazara. He needed that extra Chazara. Okay. I'll call upon him the Parak of Vav, the, the um, so um, auspicious, this, um, this Misa, because in Parak of Vav, um, at a time, like as a teenager, going through difficult uh, difficult years were to, to follow in many, many areas, Parak of Vav speaks about the Indian of Simcha. Um, Indian of Simcha is uh, the Balatani says, He says, I have to tell you, Kal Gadol, he can be Nitzach and Gashmi. That if you'll have a Gashmi, you stick in Mohammed. And one person is very strong and one person is very weak. And they're fighting. One person wants to, wants to, uh, they're wrestling. One wants to knock down the other. One is strong and one is weak. He says, Dalachem. You should know, says the Balatanya, that the one who wins this fight is not going to be the one who's strong. It's going to be the one who has Rizos, the one who's alive, the one who's excited, the one who's... Because uh, if the other guy is Ba'atzfus, and Ba'atzfus, and, and he's dragging, he could be the strongest guy in the world, he's a push-up. But the person who's Bezrizos, and Besimcha, he's going to win the, uh, the fight. The Kachi, Kachi... And that's the way it works with the Mochem the, 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 the reward doesn't go, the prize doesn't go to the one who's strong, it goes to the one who's quick, the one who's happy, the one who's... And he speaks about the fact that, uh, that Zrizus is a direct told of, could I to read, uh, is a direct told of Zrizus, a person who's on the move, who's walking with a, uh, with a stride, who's, uh, who's, who's moving, not schlepping. So that's, that, that, uh, that's always a told of simcha. When a person is besimcha, a person is moving quickly. When a person is ba'atzma, is shlapin. That's the way it goes. And, and, the, and the way to win a mochama is to be happy. That's, the, that's his mathematical equation. And he goes on to explain in Parach He says that um, it, it's, it's important to understand that it, the way the, the ilamais are set up, right? Everybody knows about the ilamais. Highest ilamas, ilam closest to Baruch who is yeah. Atzilus, Alamas, Alamas, Atzilus, Bria, Itzira, Asiya is where we live. 
Abiyah. Abiyah. The Abiyah, Atilu Espriya Yitzira Asiya, the way it works is that Vayihar Vayiboker. The closer you are to Akadosh Baruch Hu, the world of Atilu is the more Choshech it is. Meaning, Akadosh Baruch Hu created the world, so the world starts from him and it goes into the Bria. Vayiharev, Vayiboker. The Arab is closer to him. I mentioned last week, why do we say Yotzer or Avorah Choshech, Hafuch? Why do we go opposite? Or Yotzer or Avorah Choshech? Say, say it the way Choshech, Vayyar Vayyavokar, which is Yotzer or Avorah Choshech, because when we're saying Kriya Shema, we're going from down up. So you start from Osa Shalom. We're starting from the world of Asiyah that we're in, and we're working our way up to HaKadosh Baruch. Where are we going? Yotzer or we're starting from, look at us. Um, Atilus Bria Yitzira Asiya. So Bria comes before Yitzira. Yotzer or Ubore Chosha. So the Bria, which is higher, closer to Atsilus, is Choshech. Yotzer or is closer to us. So Yotzer or down, Bore Choshech. Ose So So you see that when you're going from Hashem's direction up to down, it, it would have been, if he was making the bracha, it would have been Barei Choshech V'yotzer Ar. Being that we're making the bracha, it's Yotzer Ar or Barei Choshech. Right? Understood. So, so, Barei Nahira means that the Choshech is closer to HaKadosh Baruch This is all opposite of the way, it's counterintuitive, of the way, of the way we think. The pshat is that Ar, um, Ar is what we see. And Choshech is even what we don't see. So it means that what's clear to us, what's clear to us, everybody's sitting in the room because the lights are on, we know exactly who's who, um, is, is on a level of what we can see. If, we, if, if it would be dark in here, then what's present is what we can see and even what we don't see. In other words, um, just because we can see it, that doesn't make it deeper. It actually makes it more superficial. This is what you can see. This is how the world presents. Take a scientist, give him a microscope. He sees, he sees things which are much, much uh, deeper, if you will. <coughs> but you don't see. Why, why do doctors love to take blood tests? Why do they love to take blood tests? Even if you don't need a blood test, they tell you to take a blood test. They love it. <laughs> like needles. Yeah, no, they just love it. I hate it. They love it. Like, what's the, we, we have a friction here. <laughs> like, what, what are they always taking blood tests? Okay, take a blood test. What, is something wrong with me? No, just take a blood test. It's a, a need to see what's inside. Scientists, you know, like, uh, they need to see what's inside. At least I go practice on some rabbit or something. <laughs> For me, <laughs> there's a need, a need to see what's going on with, where nobody else can see. That's, a, that's, that's, the, uh, that's a scientific quest. Let me see what nobody else can see. Let me discover something. Let me go to the book of a Choshech. And then the Choshech, I'll see more. Go to outer space. It's Choshech. Let's go, let's go for the unknown. The unknown is obviously a higher level than the known. Obviously. Hashem, Shittu. The unknown is higher than the known. So therefore, we're moving up. And we say, there's the world of Asiya. Very nice. You know, there's, there's Yotzer Or. There's the Makam of Or. There's the Makam of Choshech. <coughs> So the Balatanya concludes and he says, look, you know, besides for all of the um, Kabbalistic ramifications of the Ulamas of Atilus Kriya Zero you have to know that when you know what's going on, you're in a Makkah Mavar. When you don't know what's going on, like, what's going on? When you don't know what's going on, you're in a higher place. You're in a Makkah Mokosha. It's a Makkah Mokosha. This is the site of Amavar Yoyim Umevi Loilo, Amavdil Ben Yoyim Umevi Loilo, Amari Varov, and Iru, 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 Amari, Amari is all Erev. The word Erev, talking about a, a, a mixture, it's complicated, it's complex. <laughs> like, uh, I, I was once talking to a friend of mine who's a, who's a psychologist. He was, I was talking about a person, I mean, a consultation, talking about a certain person who's, who's, um, who's in a state of depression. And the, this the psychologist, a very smart guy, this is a friend of mine, he says that, um, you, know, you know, we got to do something, but he says that their world is so much more interesting than yours. He says, 
This, he, told, he told this was a big insult. He said, you're so normal, I can't even talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yeah, like, like, yeah. <laughs> like, that, like, like the, the, that world of, of food. He said, we gotta fix it, because he can't, he can't function in this world. He can't no, function. Bogdan. Huh? Yeah, no Bogdan. No. Bogdan. Bogdan. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's so, like, <laughs> so uninteresting, you know, the world of ore is so uninteresting. He's like a bad, like he's taking a blood test too, but he's doing it on a psychological level. You know, the, the world of Koshech is, is, is a so much deeper world. It's a so much higher. We're not looking for Koshech. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, advocating that we walk into Koshech. But what we need to understand, what the Balatanya says, is that if life is, if life is good that you can see, you're in the life of ore. If it's good that you can't see, that you should know it's at a higher world of art. Because Beresha Chashuva, more is going on. You see, nobody is going to walk into stone and look for David HaMelech. So the stone is the darkest spot on the map of history, but that's where you're going to find <coughs> David HaMelech, Matsasi. Unexpected. I was thinking about the, uh, what we were talking about before is the Ben Hashemoshot, this uh, uh, of, of day f comes first and then light. It's the same thing with, uh, uh, with the Ger and, uh, and the Bat Shuva because you don't know what that soul was before, where they came from. You can't see the... Very good. You know, it's coming from you know, a mysterious place. Place, yeah. Place of Chosha. Chosha right. is a mystery. Chosha is not bad. In fact, this is what I'm pointing out today, but the, the, the Nakuda of the day is that, that on the contrary, Chosha is the Shabbos. Chosha is Shabbos. But it's a, it's a different Erbubi of the R of, of the Balas and the Chosha of... Why is it different? I think it's exactly the same. That is the chayshe of the completion. So all, all of the mochama that comes, ikvus of the mashiach. You know, all, all of the all of the mochama that comes is a zman of choshech, which is the greatest hour. That's all. But the first thousand, the first five hundred years of, mish, of, of the seven thousand year would be the chayshe of it, and the second one would be the hour of it. So we're entering this. So Into an air boobie. Either the other side of the of Benish Mashus. This is the Zman of Erbuvia. Erbuvia between that. Between Golos and Gula. Between That's the bridge we're crossing. That Chayshik, the Chayshik of Gula. Yeah. The Chayshik of Gula and, or the, and the Or of Sheshish Himeya Maisa. But the Chayshik of Gula has to be without the Ra. That means that would have the of, of, of Sinus. Uh, the Seder, because forget about Ra. Huh? Forget about Ra. That's not a word in this conversation. Forget about Ra. Chayshech does not mean Ra. That's the whole point. Chayshech means what's going on. I understand. But, History. But the Chayshech of that, of the Chayshech of the Rebubi that we're the Averos. Yeah, is, is, That's a different. is that kind of thing. Uh -huh. It's a very different uh -huh. kind of black. So we're talking about, we're talking about, we need to talk about it more, but we're talking about Truva, Talking about, I showed you the Psukim and Sefania, right? I don't know where the, let me just, uh, you have, Ellie, you have one more minute? So you want to just, yeah. you just bring me a, a tray of sir, their base, mm -hmm. on top, yeah. or, or in Sefania? Yeah. Well, I see it's white on black and black on white, is that about the same? Shelter. <laughs> Is this the second volume of trails? Tell me another one. Another one. Bear, bear with me for one moment. Here. Sophania, just Sophania Hanavi. We don't know Sophania. Really. We think he's a street. <laughs> <laughs> Sivanya, all these treyas are where they, 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 you know, they were pumping out nevuas about the, about the, what it's going to be in the time of the, uh, what it's going to be in the time of the, uh, of right before the geula. He says here, just read you a little bit. Sivanya Perak Beis. Ish koishu shuva koishu. Ish koishu shuva koishu. 
um, he says here in the parish, he's kaisha shuvah, kaisha shuvah, have charak and do shuvah. He's kaisha shuvah, kaisha shuvah. A guy loy He says, we'll just skip a little bit. He says, let me tell you what's going to happen right before the Mashiach comes. Satanya. Aza Azuva. Aza will be disengaged. Aza Azuva, Aza will be, we will leave Aza. Aza Azuva Tia, we're going to leave it for the Goyim. And then what's going to happen is Va'ashkelon Lishmama. And Ashkelon can get destroyed. Ashtod, it's a Harai Migar Shuha. Wow. The Ekron, that's the Chobot. Teokir. That's if we don't do Shuva. If we don't do Shuva. Sefania Beis. I'm not adding any Pirish, I'm just telling you what it says here. Bakshu is Hashem, Kolan Be Aretz, Hashem, Mishpatri, Foli, Bakshu Tzedek, Bakshu Anova. Ulai Tisasru Biyoim Af Hashem. I thought Baruch Hu should turn this around for us. And if you just read, I just take, I mean, open the English article or something, Sefania Beis. And just read it, and it reads like the New York Times, except that this, this is true. <laughs> the, the, it's, it's just the, the news, the news of the day is Aza Azufa, Ashkelon Lishmama, Ashtoid Batsarai Migarshua, is evacuated. That's what Batsarai Migarshua, middle of the day, they're evacuating Ashto. I don't know where, where were all the guests in Beit Shemesh from, Ashto. Ekrein Teok here. Okay, so this can be turned around, Sifanya says, to be, this is a Choshech, it could be the Choshech, of the Geula, and it could be it becomes the aura of the Geula, and then he goes on to say, and Mashiach comes, and Moyov, and Amoin, he goes on to say, and Meshech Haru, all the way from Syria, which is Damascus, from Michrei Melech until the Am HaMelech, it's all going to be Nigal Biyad Hashem, read it, Biyad Yadai Al Tzafayin, and Akadosh Baruch Hu Hand is going to be the strongest in the Tzafayin in the north, it's there, it's all, it's all coming alive from the Bible. Um, we're accepting, accepting darkness as, as a closer to Hashem. We accept it. It's a, it's a matter of understanding how the world works, not the way we think it works, and not the way we want it to work. Or is to embrace it. So therefore, accept it. It's a there's a certain superficial clarity and then there's the darkness which takes us to a level higher it's like you're like you're going in a plane you're going through the clouds and then when you go further it's perfect in this type of and you get the new title to the Or Hagan. Or Hagan. So we have so the, 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 we have the Or. That was the true Or. That's the true clarity. And, and Real Or. And then other religions are not Arab Shabbos Ben Hashemashos or Shabbos Arab. It was Arab Shabbos in the true Or. And then they then came. Then came the Cosmic Or, which started the Mitzvahs of Chayshim. And what was that? It started Ben Hashemashos. Ben Hashemashos started by the Cosmic Or, moved into Shabbos. The Shabbos came, finally came a, a serious arm. That's what David Amal says, more nobody's arm. But Laila or Badei. The Laila yeah. turned into arm. He saw, he saw the arm in the Chayish But it happened Arab Shabbos. That happened on Shabbos. On Shabbos. The Chayit and the... And the uh, All Arab Shabbos. All Arab Shabbos. Shabbos. Elif Hashishi. Arab Shabbos, the Elif Hashishi, right? But the but we're, we're the parallel that we're talking about now is the Elohashvi. The, the transition from Elohashishi to Elohashvi gets darker before the day. Mm-hmm. So what's the the more bracha saying? Other than the speed is a, is a gradual process. That's it's already night. Meaning that it's not according to the Yerushalmi, it's not a a one second Mashiach can deal. But the rest of the analogy is the consistent. 
not it's not like the air of Shabbos. It's the opposite. It's going from a, a long period of night into no into light. Well, I'm saying that the, the, the zman of Golis is called or. <laughs> and then we're going into Arab Shabbos. Arab Shabbos. But we're. Yeah, but it's 